Welcome back to another cooking video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a live lobster, kill it and prepare it into sashimi. So, uh, today I've got a beautiful lobster that came from locally here. It's a Spanish lobster and it came from 200 kilometers that way in Tarifa. Uh, it was caught just yesterday and it was still kept alive and today I'm going to kill it on camera and prepare it into sashimi. Now, we're going to use the back end, so the tail of the lobster to make sashimi. In another video I'm going to show you how to make the other part of the lobster into a beautiful miso soup, so the body and the claws. So if you want to see that, check out the link in the description and I'm also going to link at the end of this video. Let's get going, let's do this. To prepare Larry the lobster, you're going to need to first freeze him for 15 minutes. This will not kill him, but it will put him in a sleepy comatose hibernation state. So it's a bit less cruel way to kill him later. Now, once he's been in the freezer, you want to cut right underneath this. This is where the heart is of the lobster. So just place your knife underneath it and slice in, trying to cut it in half. Once you've done that, he should be dead. Turn him upside down and do the same cut on the other side, just to separate the tail. Now you can just pull it out like this. Okay, now you can see he's still moving around and he'll still continue moving for at least half an hour. It's just reflex movements. Even the tail here that's been separated from the body, you can see little twitches happening. And this is completely normal, it's just little reflexes of the lobster still moving its body parts for some reason. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove the intestinal tract here, just pull it out softly. And now I'm gonna do a cut right here, and another cut on the other side. And then you just wanna cut along the shell and next to the membrane, going all the way across. And then when you come to the end, you wanna turn cut round, like a little U-turn bend, and then come across back on the other side all the way back down. Okay, now to remove this membrane, you just want to just pull and just do tiny little cuts and you're just trying to release the meat from it and make sure you have none of it on the membrane. So just keep doing that and at a certain point you'll be able to start pulling a little bit more and not having to cut, just like this. Okay, now to release the meat from the shell, you want to take the handle of a spoon and just press it in between each individual segment, going all the way across, up and down, and on the other side as well. And then you wanna take the spoon side of the spoon and just scoop it out, starting from the tail and just gently scooping it out like that. And it should release all the lobster meat intact in one piece and leave nothing on the shell. Okay, there we go. As you can see, the shell is nice and clean. And you just wanna take your lobster meat and put it inside some cold water just to rinse it off and keep it good. Now I'm gonna remove the membranes here, these little thin bits of red. These are a little bit elastic and chewy, you don't want this in sashimi. So very delicately slice them off, trying your best not to remove any of the lobster meat. So just take your time with this and sometimes you do get a little bit more than you want to, but you just gotta be patient. Okay, now I'm just gonna remove a little bit more of the intestinal tract or poop shoot here and just get rid of that, you don't wanna eat this. Okay, now I'm gonna slice it in half just to make sure I got all the intestinal tract because you don't want that, and then cut it into a rough chop. Now, lobster meat is very tender and it rips apart, so you can't really slice it in a thin slice of sashimi. You want it in a rough chop like this. Okay, so put this on the side, and here I'm going to make my garnish, a uh, simple daikon strings. Now, you're gonna to wanna to prepare this at least an hour beforehand. I'm just showing it now, just to have it in this section of the video. Now, I'm gonna use a gadget here to create the slice very simply, but if you wanna do this by hand, I have another video that shows you how to do this katsu ramuki slice by hand, and I'll put the link in the description of this video. But this is such an easy gadget, it does it so quickly, and it creates a very even sheet of vegetable daikon. So as you can see here, the sheet is super thin and consistent, and it was so quick to do. Okay, I'm just gonna fold this over and then chop it into thin strings. So just quickly do a chop like this and you should have long strands of daikon. Okay, once it's all chopped up, then you just want to just mix it up like so. Okay, great. And then you're gonna wanna place it into a bowl of ice cold water for at least an hour in the fridge. So this is why you do this way ahead of killing the lobster. Okay, so once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to drain it and then time to plate up. Take a beautiful sushi plate and then place a little bit of your stringy daikon on there and then place your lobster tail, like so. And then fill it with a little bit more stringy daikon. This is just to pop out the lobster sashimi later so it looks like it's a lot. 
which it is. And then here I'm gonna place two seashell leaves back to back and then fill it with our beautiful lobster sashimi that we cut earlier and top that with a lot of ikura salmon roe because this is a plentiful dish. So just fill it up. Then you add a little bit of wasabi and some homemade pickled ginger and then finish it off with a little bowl of soy sauce. Okay, and there we go. That is your lobster sashimi ready to go. Enjoy. So there we go. Now you know how to make a live lobster into delicious lobster sashimi. I hope you enjoyed this video and give you support with a little thumbs up. And if you want to see the front half of the lobster with the claws get made into uh, a soup, a miso soup, then check it out right here. And if you want to see my past video of turning a live lobster into a sushi roll, then check it out right here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.